we're going to enjoy a few highlights from a game. Rubio with a nice goal off the cross from Gallus. Not what we're looking for. Poljak to Roos at the far post. Not what we're looking for. Look at that ball over the top. Cetas with the first touch and then definitely slides it past the keeper. That is goal number one. Gallus finds Vogler outside. Quick drop in into Poljak. Into Cetas. Drops it back across with a soft header into the goal. A penalty gives him a hat trick. And he is not done. Abzalov lays it out. Cetas turns on it and places it in. His fourth goal of the game. And there's a reason that we watch this. Because Dimitris Cetas has left the club. Our team captain, our leading goal scorer, 19 goals in 20 matches, has left the club, and I'm the one that did it. I can't blame it on anybody at all, but uh, yeah. Let's see. I want to insert a goal scorer column. Can we do that? And can we resize? There we go. There we go. Now, now we're... Hmm. We don't have the scores here. Ah, uh, there they are. Well, we need, yeah, we need to bring that in right, right there. That works for me. That works for me. All right, so taking a look at after where we left off, which was Bakum and Schalke, we, uh, we had some friendlies. Uh, we played Augsburg, 1-4-1. Duisburg, 6-0. Of course, Cetas with the four goals. He scored once in the Augsburg game. Essen, we beat 3-1. Gave him, uh, he scored again. And then he scored a brace and a 7-0 win over Babelsberg. And then uh, this was our first game without him. A 3-2 win. A hat trick from Demir Poljak, the right winger. Tom Hill, our striker, got the lone goal against Vegel and a 1-1 draw. So you notice in those friendlies that uh, scoring just dropped off after Cetas left. If I didn't tell you I was not worried, I'd be lying. <laughs> Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. What episode are we on? Okay, it's episode six. I've got it figured out now. Uh, so we are in the last week of the transfer window, the last few days. So let's take a quick look at transfers. Uh, this was a mistake, so we canceled that deal. Uh, I'm not going to go after a 34-year-old. We are looking at a 21-year-old. Uh, this guy is French, an attacking midfielder, but he can play striker, right wing, left wing, and central mid. He's pretty good, and we might be able to get him on an end-of-contract deal. So hopefully, question mark? But let's take a look at the transfer history. Uh, it's been a busy a busy window. Uh, Felix Muller is uh, our reserve keeper, and uh, we he he wasn't starting, and we had we had signed um, Mike Bearer on loan from Dusseldorf, so he's been our reserve keeper. Muller was on a pretty good salary, so uh, we let him go on a free, and I was a little because we had had him transfer listed, nobody came in for him. We put him up for free and Man City came in for him. And I was like, holy crap. So, I mean, he's not a bad keeper, but he was older than, uh, he was 32, I think. So we got rid of him uh, and dropped a big chunk of salary with him. Uh, same thing, Dirk Egeter. Uh, he started quite a few games for us at left back. I think we've got some depth there. And I mean, he was a good player, but notice his age. So we sold him. 
I don't know how it got to $10. That must have been a screw up on my part posting him, but they bid 10 bucks. I was trying to get his salary off the books, so we did. We've loaned out Dominic Schmidt, uh, like number five on our center back depth chart. Uh, we're getting 30000 a month on a loan fee, plus they're picking up 100% of his salary. Uh, Tilas Katidis, a youngster, he goes out on loan for 100% of his salary. I looked at Dimitris, and he's 32 years old. He is our team captain. He's very good. And if we look at him, he had 17 goals in 18 league matches, nine goal, two goals in the cup. Very good player, but he's 32. And I was over the salary cap. Not salary cap, but I was over wage budget, and he was over a million dollars. And I said, if I can cut a million dollars in payroll and get money, that's a win-win for me. So we sold him. We're going to get a million and a half up front, potentially 1.8 with add-ons. And then Kevin Stadler, he was one of our team leaders, but he hasn't played. He's been injured literally like five times, five separate injuries. We let him go on a free and got him out the door. Again, a pretty hefty salary. So most of these were salary dumps um, with the exception of C. Well, CTOS was actually a salary dump too, but it is what it is. So we had made a couple of moves. We had made a move, a move and uh, then with the move of CTOS and I was thinking about it I went in and made two other moves and I'm hoping I'm hoping to get maybe one more striker in uh, before the transfer deadline I'm doing some scouting right now but uh, Martin Meyer comes in from Colne. he's a left back and uh, he is going to be depth or replacement for Egeter. Uh so we planned for that Tom McNally we get for $14,000. He's a 20-year-old English player. Uh, he, can play the, he can play striker. He can play midfield. He could probably drop back and play either right or left wing uh, as, a, you know, as an attacking winger in the midfield. But I'm looking at him more as a striker. He's got pace, acceleration, agility, composure. I mean, everything's there. He even has some flair. Passing technique, finishing's a 13. So I'm going to be looking for him to really step in uh, and help fill the void left by CTOS. And knowing that we need to, you know, any international signing that we do, we kind of got a counter with a German signing. Uh, Christoph Bach uh, comes from Essen for $60,000. Uh, again, much like uh, the previous player, uh, striker, right winger, uh, he can play both. His physicals are great, except for his strength. 6'3", good jumping. Um, heading's not so good, but dribbling, finishing, first touch. Uh, he can even pass from that striker position. Composure, determination, decision-making, not so great, but um, again, 24-year-old German. I like him. And we are looking to maybe bring in one more striker. Uh, so that has dropped us down to 15.1. I have had to adjust the payroll budget. Let's go ahead and adjust that back out here. And let's put it to about 15.9. I think that'll be good. So we dropped about a million dollars net off of our payroll and picked up some transfer budget in the interim. And again, I'm hoping to make one more deal. The transfer for uh, LePetri Ruer is uh, going to be for end of contract, so he won't join till next season. But uh, take a look at this kid. Uh, again, he can play all across the front, all, all seven positions across the front, and he can play him pretty well. Um, I envision him being more of a, cause he can mark, he can tackle decently. I project him to be a central mid, uh, cause I don't play with a number 10. 
but I could see him being a central mid and possibly a with that passing and crossing, I could see him being a right winger as well. So I think he could fill a lot of roles. So that is what the deal is. So after the wins uh, to close out, we are currently sitting fifth on 37 points, two points out of the playoffs. But we do have a plus seven goal differential on Mains, who we play today. So this is going to be a key matchup. Paderborn is still in front of us. And then uh, Nuremberg and Bauckham are running away with things at the top right now. So we, we've got to find some wins here. We've got to keep on a roll. Only one draw, but five defeats as we uh, closed out the, the end of the first half of the season. That October run was catastrophic for us. And... That was a disappointing loss. But right now, you know, I moved CTOS because I thought he had value and the age thing. Um, if I have to choose between, you know, m multiple players, you know, the, the, the older player is going to typically be the one that I'm going to let go. But uh, if I said I wasn't, as I said in the intro, if I said I wasn't worried about goal production now, I'd be lying. I would be lying. All right, well, let's move up. I thought I was at the game, but we'll be back for that against Mainz here in just a second. Well, uh, so we just signed him, uh, this youngster. Now, I wonder, we're only paying thirty-one five for him. Instead of signing another striker, do I try to buy him early? Maybe I do. I don't think I'll see that until tomorrow or, you know, after this processes. Oh, wait, hold on. Buy now? How much? 1.2 million. Well, we will wait. We will bite our tongue and we will bide our time. Because, yeah, I don't have that. Bloom is out, so he's not going to be ready to play. We are on the road today. So we are going to go with... We're going to go with that uh, big away tactic. All right, so Kuhn's going to be in. Roos, Stein. I've been playing, um, is it Gallus? Yeah, I've been playing Gallus, trying to get him some game time back there because uh, he's pretty solid. The heading's right there. Who else is, was wanting a lot of game time? He's out. Yeah, those guys are young. I think it was Gallus. So Gallus is going to be up in the midfield, uh, defensive midfielder, ball-winning midfielder today. Rubio, Kuhn out on the wing. And let's see, who is out? So, yeah, Poljak's out with an injury. He'll be out two to three months. We just lost him, I think, in the last friendly. And three weeks for Zek, not a big loss. And... Zenik, as good as he kind of is, can't play because he's only 16. He's not old enough to be in the competition. That's funny. <laughs> I want to bring him up. I think he's good enough, but, you know, oh well. All right, so if you take a look at our starting roster now, our starting 11, uh, looks like DeBrand at 28, Jose Rubio at 28, and uh, those are our oldest players. Keller on the bench at 28. We still have Bloom. I was unable to get rid of him, and he is injured. I'd like to get rid of him, but he nobody will make an offer on him. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna and I'm gonna offer him out on a free, just to get him out of here. Really want to just cut his salary. All right, let's get and play some footballs. Hopefully we can get a win here. Hello. All right, there we go. Warming up. Hand over to the assistant. It is uh, the first league match coming out of the break. So we'll give them all the greenage just like at the start of the season. We're going to have Plume, our loanee. Uh, he's going to get the start alongside Hill. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to evaluate that and possibly go with one of our newer players 
There's Plume. Plays it back. Kodorowski Gallus. Oh, there's a nice ball. Some good touch. Over the top. Kuhn is there. He drops it in. Hill cannot make the placement. And that's where Cetos was so deadly, just finding a little gap in order to make a play on a ball in the box. All right, we are in the uh, in the gray and green, or bluish gray and green. All right, some good ball movement there. That was a poor pass. Come on, somebody get out there. Oh, you let him get inside of you. Let's uh, let's demand more. Complacent? How are you complacent, dude? It's a tie game, first half. And we're being outplayed. Dion, one of our former players. Oh, Bieneman. All right, decent header out. They back it up a little bit to pull us out of our shell. Come on. All right, they're doing a good job keeping the ball out. And we just like fell apart right there. Who is who is this guy? He's scream Roos is screaming at the goalkeeper. I want to see where Roos went though. Yeah, he's our center back. I don't know why he's screaming at the goal. It looks like, oh, you know what? It looks like it deflected there off of Vogler. That's what it looked like. Yeah, and then uh, Roos is completely out of position. I don't know if he's screaming at his counterpart or at the keeper. <laughs> Not sure. Messi Onana. Well, we all know who Messi is. Onana's a pretty good goalkeeper, I think. Or can be. Uh, he was offsides. Offsides. Hello. Offsides. I'm pretty sure he was offsides. No. He was kept on by Stein. God. Dog it. All right. We're going to push up. Show some passion. Uh, Coon, a tight groin. All right, we're going to have to sub him off. You know what? I'm going to drop Plume back there, and then we will bring on uh, Christoph Bach for his debut. Because I do want to see him. Some good ball movement. Ball out into space. Gallus finds Vogler on the wing. That comes in and again, just not finding the head of Tom Hill. All right, good header out. Vogler, oh, it went over. Plume's on a breakaway. He's on a breakaway. And he slots it home, his fifth goal of the season. Maximilian Vogler with the assist, and that was a great counter opportunity. Beautiful ball, a misplayed header there by Dion. I wonder if he did that because of some loyalties to the club. I'm going to say no, but still, still. So Plume gets the goal and then immediately gets moved out to the right wing. Oh, don't let them get one before the end here. Damn, nation. Njoku, 11th goal of the season on a set piece. Of course it was a set piece. Of course it was a set piece. All right, well, that's disheartening. We got one back, and unfortunately, that is going to not matter much going into halftime. 
Unless we can steal one here. Well, that's that's not what I wanted to happen. All right. Yeah, there we go. Just get to halftime at this point, guys. We have not managed much in the way of shots. I'm looking here. All right. I'm going to switch over to this tactic. Um, I'm going to be aggressive. Show me something else in the second half. Get creative. All right, we're motivated, we're inspired, and we're not having a highlight. Kodorowski. Gallus. Play it in. No, come on. What was that, Gallus? Come on. You had two of you right there. We need to control the ball, not... Oh, nice ball in. Oh, and that was deflected. Damn. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Um, tell you what, I'm going to put Plume back up top for Hill. Well, I'm going to drop Kodorowski out to the right. And let's bring on um, Hartle. He doesn't play a lot, but I'd like him in. Demand more. Oh, good save. Good save. We are not we are not looking good here, fellas. Vogler, quick one touch. No, no, God damn it. Uh, and then Joku just deked the keeper. Fake to the right, came back to the left. Keeper played one way. Just got caught out of position. It was a good move by Njoku, to be fair. All right, I am going to... I mean, you know, we don't have anything to lose at this point. Show some passion. Bach heads it all the way back out to Arturo, who took the throw in. That was an easy clearance. And Joku's on a breakaway. Beats our entire back line. And I think he sat the keeper down again. Oh, my God. Bring Keller on. Ask for some passion again. This is going to be an ugly, ugly result. I don't know what to take away from that. And Joku with a hat trick. Plume with the lone goal. How do I tell them they were excellent? No, no. Um... Far from pleased. No. You played like shit. You played like shit. Coons out for one to three days. Bach makes his debut. And Bloom, our center back. 391,000. Uh, you know what? Shit. They want 89,000. I hate to do that, but I'm not playing him. He's 35. Get him out of here. And that still saves us over 300000 You know what? So we'll accept that. I will come back for the next match here in a second. And I'm wondering, nope, that'll be before the transfer deadline. So we will see you back here for Gruther Firth in just a moment. All right. So we're losing our ass. I mean, look at this. We made $1.9 in income and lost $3 million. Now, granted, there were some transfers in there, but we didn't spend a lot of money on transfers. Um, there's a, and, and our salaries are only 977000 What are our expenditures? 
this month, last month, here we go, 977. So 306 on staff salaries. We do have the loan repayment. Loyalty bonuses, that's a lot. So it looks like really the only thing I can possibly do is cut staff. I mean, I'm already low on physios. I could, I mean, we, I could get rid of a couple of coaches, I suppose. Maybe, maybe my head of youth development. How much is he making? Two hundred fifty-five thousand per year. That's not a, you know, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and offer mutual termination there, and. Six coaches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I need both goalkeeping coaches? Probably not. 12, 12, and 14. All right, you know, Luca Miller, we're going to bid you farewell. Mutual termination. We'll see if we can cut a little bit. I'm going to have to start pinching pennies, I suppose. Uh, 180,000 and 24,000. All right, well, that does that. Now, how does that leave our staff? We're still, we're still there. I mean, we're still tops. I could probably afford to get rid of one more, all things being equal. Uh... Well, you know what? I want to, I want to go one more day, but let's do the match. I can do that off camera. Uh, we still have not finished scouting. I have one guy I'm looking at that I'll probably put a bid on just to get him in if we can't scout and find anybody else. All right, we're the home team. We are heavily favored. I'm just going to go back up to our 442 here. And Gallus is in the central mid. Uh, I want, I want uh, Mally. 13, 15, 13. Yeah, I want to, I want to give, I want to go with Bach here. And the sooner we get him up to match sharpness, the better. We are going to run a little long this episode. I'll edit out as much as I can of the dead time, but. You know, uh, yes, we need a better performance than last time. All right, get creative. All right, they pick up an injury in the early going. And, uh, we have a yellow card. All right, Gallus into the box. There's a header. It goes off the woodwork. That's unlucky. Arturo lays it back to Kodorowski. No, that's not good. Oh my God, right over the top. Vester in stride, beats the keeper. His ninth goal of the season. Shit. Demand more. All right, we are, let's see. Tempo. I'm going to slow these down to where maybe we do a little less uh, screwing up. Maybe. Let's see how that works out for us. I mean, statistically, we're dominating the first half. Oh, Vester just blows past our defender. Now, see, you know, you've got a 360 degree angle that you could head that ball to, and you head it right in the one direction that it's going to go to their player. See, look at that. Oh, look at that ball. That's beautiful. Hill runs onto it into the box, and he finds the far post. Tommy Hill. What a goal, seventh goal. That was deft placement. And Vogler, what a ball over the top. On the volley, 
Oh, that was brilliant. What a goal. What a goal. At least we're even. I apologize for the dog. My wife went to go sit outside and catch some sun, and the dog is freaking out. Normally doesn't want to go outside. And if you put him out, even if he has to go to the bathroom, he's like, he goes and like two seconds, he's right back at the door. All right, do this for our fans, but you go outside and oh my God, you're leaving him. He's feeling abandoned. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, demand more. They're focused. They're inspired. All right, Bouchel. Tehran beats the defender on our side. Good hands by Drabond. Come on, boys. Kuhn turns the corner. Loses it. Vogler's there to pick it up. It's blocked. Oh, my God. How does that happen? How many balls do we put into the hands of, a, of another player? Oh, nice ball into Bach. Centered in. Oh, and Hill has his shot blocked. He was looking for his second goal of the game. Oh, come on, boys. All right. Uh, let's see. Kuhn. Let's put uh, mid right there, huh? Let's bring Kotorowski out. And Hartel in the middle. Actually, I want to put... Um, don't see the guy I'm looking for. Don't see him. Uh, Roos, let's bring Gallus back on the line. And then we can bring Absalov in there. Yeah, like that move. Like that move. One of our younger players. Get him some playing time. All right. Uh, get creative. Don't let him score. Oh, good defense. Oh, and he is hurt. Um, are we going to VAR to see who calls the caused the injury? Why did they stop? Okay. A penalty? Are you shitting me? Oh, what a save! What a save! Oh, I didn't even realize they were in the box. I thought they were out here. Oh, and a flying Superman save. All right, we need to go... All right, we need to up the tempo... I'm going to up the passing. We need to blow through this, man. We have got to get this done. Get something done. All right. One last sub. Which direction do we go? The striker partnership's not playing badly. Let's bring some fresh legs on. Uh, mid. Actually, you know what? No. Uh, Rubio. Absalov, and then do I want this guy? 21 years old, 14 passing. Yeah, I can, wow, he looks good. Why doesn't he start for me? <laughs> I think I've got a lot of pretty solid central mids is what I got. All right, Hartle. Over the top. Nice ball. Bach, he's in. Oh, my God. He should have played it the other way. I think he would have found the inside post. Push forward. Oh, come on, Gallus. Come on. He puts it in. His fourth of the season. Get in there. All right. Tactics. Let's back everything off. We're going to go shorter passing. We're going to do that. We're going to actually up a little time wasting. Oh, what a goal. That was a beautiful free kick just outside the box. Bends it around the wall. Beats the keeper to the post. 
very, very nice. Get to the whistle, please. Thank you. We take a 2-1 win. Tom Hill finds the net. 21 shots. I like how they played. We played, we played well. We'll give them some praise. Try to get them up. All right, so I'm going to head into, uh, we're on 40 points. I'm just curious. Um, let's see, stages. We're supposed to be mid-table. So nine, so 45, 47, 52. All right. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So we're about 10 points away from really securing mid-table at worst. And that's not bad with as many games as we've got left, right? I think we're doing well. We've been very consistent. Six losses. I, I, I Well, you know, for a mid-table team, that's probably not bad. That is probably not bad. Um, that is their player, Gallus. You did great, especially with the free kick. All right. Uh, let's... I'm tempted to come back for that one. But I think that might be too quick. How about we come back for Erzgeberg and Nuremberg? Nuremberg's above us. Erzgeberg, that team. <laughs> Erzgeberg. You know, that, that just trying to say these names reminds me of the, uh, the, the, the chef on uh, the Muppets. You know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah. So that's what that reminds me of. Let's come back for that one, and then we'll figure out where we want to come back. We may have to come back for the final four matches if we're in the thick of promotion. If we're just looking for mid-table, we'll probably just skip to the end of the season. But, uh, yeah, so let's come back for uh, the end of March, beginning of April. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe. Let me know what you think of all the transfers we made and is the trade of Dimitris Sitas going to come back to haunt us? He's got two goals in two appearances for Ajax and he has started both games in the Arita Visi. So I, I think he was definitely good enough to be at a higher level. I'm surprised we weren't getting offers for him, but Anyway, guys, we'll see you next episode. Bye.